Hey, 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 what's up my crypto friends? So Binance have stopped staking in the UK. They've followed the trend of the Americans. Now, some of you may or may not know this as it happened to me a couple of weeks ago, but there's massive implications to you and me, the investor with Binance doing this. And the FCA, in my opinion, are just throwing out some shite tactics. So I'm gonna dig into today's video and give you a brief background of why I think the FCA are doing it, what it means for me and you as an investor, and give you some of the examples of just how much we're set to lose by not staking on Binance. So if you want to see all that cool stuff and more, stay tuned and let's go crypto. Boom. So for those of you that are new to the channel, I'm Christian and this is Crypto OG, where I give you the news, reviews and overviews in the crypto DeFi NFT space. And also I have to say the mandatory waffle that anything you see, hear or choose to ignore is not financial advice. No, it's just me being nice. And especially on a video like this where I'm telling you not to invest in staking, I'm just telling you what I do. So with all that being said, let's jump into the meat and bones of this video, which is the ban on staking in Binance. So let's jump into the meat and bones of what the Binance staking issue is. So Binance have been banned from staking to the UK consumer. Now, I don't know if you know, or you may or may not know that Binance has had a run-in with the regulators already. They are being accused to offering products and services that are too risky for the retail consumer, and that they did this without the proper due diligence and obviously investor information. So the SCA or the regulator are chasing Binance in the courts via this. So it's come to no surprise that they were always gonna look at banning staking but they needed a trigger either the us the ftx collapse or someone has kicked the ornix nest now the sca initiated the ban on the etns and other crypto derivatives back in january 2020 and it is considered that these products are ill suited like i say for the retail customer and that they would do more harm than purpose now we all know that of investors that they're not to me it was just people that lost money wanted to complain to the regulator or the consumer guidelines and say they wasn't given enough information and they took too much of a risk that's like me going in batting on the the football big game in the in the bookies and saying i lost because you didn't tell me i was going to lose my money do you know it's just stupid in my opinion but obviously as it as it could be argued that the band did nothing other than force the retailer the retail consumer into unregulated or even regulated exchange in order to stake their crypto or obviously gamble on spot trading but this isn't what gives it the issue for me for me obviously with no surprise with the example of FTX really cemented what was one of the largest exchanges in cryptocurrency collapsing and obviously filing for bankruptcy and this led to a lot of investors being trapped and losing their money and obviously people then ran to the regulators and said what did you do about this why didn't you help me it's like a kid crying to its dad so for me I find it most strange that the UK and the FCA only followed this kind of ban and no one else did in Europe because for me the UK doesn't have a diddly squat clue about crypto the fca doesn't know crypto from its ass to its elbow and what they normally do is they look to their big brother america to take the lead and they're normally following two to three steps after in their footsteps then obviously with the sec saying that they're banning staking on coinbase they then rush out have all these emergency meetings and then decide we need to ban staking in the uk because we'll fall back on the etns and derivatives that we did in 2020 so that gives you the kind of institutional thinking behind it in my opinion only leave a comment below say what you think but that's what i really do think so with that being said let's come back to binance for a second and let me tell you why i think it's so bad and that we really have been robbed of a chance to earn good rewards so let's look at the way i was going to use this or or a lot of people would have been used this in very very simple terms so the way i used this to get the edge was let's take the latest coin dip in bitcoin we all know that when bitcoin dips the altcoins dips and then it's time to buy the dip if that's the way you invest again not financial advice and please this bit is really not financial advice it's just what i do so bct tanked the coin i wanted to buy in tanked so i wanted to buy the dip then obviously we know that it's a bear market right so dips last a lot longer than they do in the bull market so we know that this dip could be 30 60 120 days whatever the appetite is so the ideal situation is, is when you buy these coins at a nice price in a dip you want to park them in a nice staking account for them to grow as well as the price chart growing so in effect earn double bubble so let me take you through the perfect setup that i was going to look at for this last dip so btc dumped 
the altcoins dumped i then look at a coin i've been looking at i've been charting and i find it a good price and that for me is eight coin so eight coin goes from this amount to this amount and i thought okay i'm going to buy that up because i know there's good yields on ape at the moment so i buy eight from the 25 percent of the stable coins i've got that i always keep to buy the dip again that's just my investment strategy so then i think i'm going to look at and um, binance's staking of ape and here you can see ape staking rewards they're an eye watering between 32.9 percent and 64.9%. So for me, whether I want to stake it between 30 and 120 days, this is an eye-watering amount of returns just for parking my coin in the staking program. Why I then readjust to find the best sell method or the price I want to sell at and then obviously set an alert on my trading chart for the sell order. And then I determine on the charts what I want to do on my sell order. And then boom, you're outperforming the S&P 500 by massive, massive margins because the S&P 500 only only look to get between eight and 14%. Whereas you're, you can get in 128 days, 64.9% returns. So for me, that is massive, massive opportunity. But the FCA have seen that this is a bad investment for retail investments. This is not good for us to earn high, high reward because of the risk is too high. And that we should be letting our mainstream banks waste our money, but only let them get all the big kind of interest rates rewards and only kick us back between 0.2% if it's in a current account or maybe up to a two even as close to a four percent if it's in a long-term savings account and that to me is not a privilege you want with your own money so that's my quick overview of how i see this as a massive kicker to me and you as a retail investor and why i see it as total shy ass tactics and why i think it's so bad 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 for the people and why we should be allowed to invest our own money where we want when we want as long as we know we've done our own research and we take up on our own risk we can sign disclaimers or we can sign whatever we need just give us a chance to be in charge of our own money again this is not financial advice this is just the way i like to kind of invest my money but let me know what you think in the comments please feel free to ask me any questions also i've just opened up a discord for a forum for this where people can come in have a chat chat with me i'm normally on there from 7 p.m weeknights um uk time because i live in london or just a place for you lot to hang out i do announcements and cool stuff over there but it's important with all the scams and the DeFi stuff coming on that you do find yourself it might not be my discord but somewhere where you can share ideas and kick back because not only are we getting screwed now by the SCA and stuff where we we want to invest our money we're also getting a lot of DeFi scams out there but as always hope you found this video very informative any questions leave a comment but as always trade smart trade safe and don't get wrecked